do 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 Welcome to Wrestling Rants 901. It's your main man, Kel. Breezy. Jazz fingers. Man, let's talk about a few couple things just popped up. In the wrestling world, let's, let's, let's first talk about the Matt Riddle Brock Lesnar thing. So apparently my boy, the original bro, he got some backstage heat because of the occasion. They didn't get visible, but the word is three people and said that this ain't a storyline, this ain't a shoot, this is for real. Because you guys remember, you know, Matt Riddle has been calling now Brock Lesnar for the longest. Saying he won Brock in the ring, he won to retire Brock, he wants to defeat Brock. He been doing the same thing with Goldberg. If you go back and watch on the Network, the whole Chronicle episode, with Goldberg, Goldberg and him and Matt came face to face. You know, he was let him know like this could have been could have been cool for a different time, but you know, circumstances and you know Matt being cool and laid back, you can bro. And Goldberg like I'm not your bro. Oh, okay, bro, calm down. You know, I like Matt Riddle. In a ring, he has grown on me because he got some hard hitting moves, submissions, he transitions him, trans. Missions into submissions, his transmissions, his transformation into submissions, whatever, talk tie, whatever. But then, because the UFC background, his strikes, and he's cool and laid back, and he's outspoken. You know, this ain't the first time he's kind of had some heat on NXT. He went on Twitter and, you know, was like, all to the dirt bag, trash bags, geeks in the locker room who didn't want to give me a ride to work because there's too much. Too much Talent in the car, I hate you. You know, of course, the monster Champo said something. I can't really say what he said because it was some naughty words. So, but man, and now with the whole, you know, he's outspoken about Goldberg, Ken Russell, and they call Chris Jericho, call him Matt Riddle. So, I'm gonna talk about you and Chris Jericho. I got something to say. But anyway, <laughs> man, and so him and Goldberg before Royal Rumble, and Brock Lesnar walked up to him like, hey, kid. Me and you will never work together. We'll never get in the ring. Ever. And that's it. You know, man, real man. He like, oh, dude, you didn't even talk to me like a child. And he tried to, you know, to have some more word with Brock. But, you know, it got to the point where it just, he got heat now. For it. And now, it's like, his Royal Rumble participation was quick and short and sweet to the point. He got eliminated by all people. Baron Corbin. Oh, my gosh. He would tear a hole in Baron Corbin. I would love to see that. Oh, I don't like Baron Corbin, but he does a great job of being a heel that everybody hates. Man, I can see him being champion and probably one of the most hated heel champions. So, I, I can see him being champion. I don't know when because with The Fiend got the Universe title on hold and Brock Lesnar, you know, got the WWE Championship on a chokehold, you know, so. Hey, but man, so Maverick has heat, so it just got me wondering about... The Dusty Road Classic, with well, this heat that he has, will it mess up to him and Pete Dunn chances, you know, getting the challenge for the the titles, winning the Dust Cup challenge, and then the tag titles? But Triple H, I don't think Triple H really too much cares for him at Riddle's tactics. I don't think it bothers him. I mean, you know, like, he's gone on record saying, hey, Matt Riddle's a big boy, he's a grown man. He say pretty much, hey, man, I ain't say what you want. You know, if you can back it up, cool. If you can't, you're going to learn to be quiet. So it's like, man, bro, like, Get over it. So, Jericho. My thing is, Jericho, I'm going to give you loser face. I'm going to say why. Edge has not wrestled in nine years. He came back at Royal Rumble. Long hair, beard, gray, 41. Abs all the way around. Ain't wrestled in nine years. Jericho, nigga, you've been... Sorry. Oops. Sorry. I had a Booker T moment. Bruh. You've been wrestling like forever. Really needs to stop. You have a couple pauses in there. But why you got the muffin top, Jericho? Loser face, bro. Come on. You need whatever Edge been doing. You need to get on it, muffin top man. So, yeah, loser face of the day goes to the champion, Jericho. Get rid of the muffin top, bro. You wrestle too much to have that muffin top, bro. I don't hear about you. Old age, because Goldberg older, I would give him that he's still in better shape. So, you know, Jerry had the audacity to make fun of, like, the, you know, there's some of the guys, their body shape and their tone. But, man, you got a whole muffin top, fam. Speaking of fam, oh, Andrade. 
The reason for the angle with him and Umberto on Raw with him getting dropped on the head on the cement because he's Andrade suspended. Yup. Third days, failed the Williams policy. But at least he didn't lose the title. So that's that's pretty cool. He didn't lose the title. So I guess when he come back, you know, he had to defend it because it would be third day. But so I still say they, they still have belief in Andrade because they didn't have him drop the belt. Maybe because they really, you know, don't see Umberto as champion right now. So like we don't want to put a title on him because we don't want to make him be a transitional champion, put on somebody really want. Because we want Andrade. So I feel like, yo, yeah, so. Andrade suspended 30 days. I want him to see how this is going to affect his possible push that he's on right now when he comes back. And I hope he learned from this. Yeah, hope he learned from him, bro. Yep, yeah, man. Jeez, man, that's interesting, though, guys. So, hey, if you guys got any other rumors or news you guys want to talk about, feel free to comment below, guys. I'm always ready to comment back. Either it's going to be a, the Wrestling Rants page or I'm going to comment from my personal YouTube page. Or you guys want to comment on Facebook or on Instagram. You guys can hit me up on Twitter. You know, WMD means what Markel doing. <laughs> so, yeah, guys, I'm real available on all social media platforms just about. You know, so feel free. Let's talk about some news and rumors. Let's get juicy. What you guys want to talk about? You know, WrestleMania is coming up, guys. The road to WrestleMania, it can be interesting if they just do these storylines right. It's going to be a great road. If not, it's going to be a sucky, bumpy road. <laughs> I feel like they shouldn't have had, um, just thought about it. Why the heck they have Drew McIntyre and that's so soon, man? Because it's going to be a long road trying to build a storyline with Brock Lesnar, who's never there. And I've heard to the grapevine that Charlotte's not going to challenge the Raw Women's Champion. Not the SmackDown Women's Champion, but the NXT Women's Champion because she's never really had a one-on-one -on -one with Rhea Ripley on a platform at WrestleMania. So that could be happening, guys. So look out for that. If that happens, Rhea Ripley, her stock's about to go up. So, ooh, and if Charlotte wins, though, NXT can go to another level because Charlotte Flair and so many guys on the NXT brand that she can match it up with. And it'd be cool, you know, to give her a break from on SmackDown because she pretty much a Beating everybody and done it all. Then go to NXT, face some new blood, help them grow. Like she had somebody help her grow and teach them things. That'd be great. Now I feel like she could really help somebody like Lacey Evans and Rhea Ripley because they're about the same height, same about the body stature. I mean, Rhea Ripley got a little more curves in the right places, but she can learn some things from Charlotte and Charlotte can teach her. Woo! That's good. That was a good one. Woo! Main man, Kel Breezy. I'm out of here. You can find us on social media, guys. Show some love. Like, subscribe, share, comment. Do all those things, please. And I'm out, fam.